hello friends in continuation with the last lecture now we are going to talk about the characteristics of the transducer uh, there are uh, two types of the characteristics of the transducer and let's see what are they on what basis we can have the different kind of the characteristics so the best uh, suitable transducer uh, for a particular design is selected on the basis of the performance characteristics of the uh, transducer means the uh, selection of the transducer is uh, uh, based on the uh, what we can say the performance of the characteristics of the transducer means so what kind of the uh, measurement we are going to uh, do it and uh, on that basis we, we must uh, select the particular or uh, transducer as well as the uh, what are the characteristics of that uh, transducer also important while uh, selecting the uh, particular uh, transducer in uh, application so uh, it's important uh, to know the character of the transducer for the proper uh, selection if we know the priorly the uh, the where we are going to use the particular transducer uh, then uh, 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 we must understand uh, or uh, uh, before we uh, uh, select a particular transistor we must know the character of that particular transistor so let's see the uh, means uh, what we can say the performance of character of uh, of the transducer are classified into the two ways the first way is the static character of the transducer and the second one is the dynamic character of the uh, transducers let's uh, try to elaborate the uh, static and the dynamic uh, characteristics um, in more detail try to understand that the uh, terminologies uh, which falls under the static characteristics, uh, characteristics and the dynamic character of the uh, transducers the first one the static characteristics of the uh, transducer yes. some of the important static characteristics of the transducer uh, on the basis of the set of the performance criteria uh, are as uh, uh, below uh, the first one, first characteristic uh, static characteristic we can say here is the sensitivity and it is defined as the relationship between uh, the variation in the output uh, electrical quantity and the corresponding variation in the input uh, quantity so the variation we have considered here uh, uh, between the uh, output uh, and the uh, uh, input uh, quantities which are major so that decides the uh, sensitivity of the uh, instrument means when we are trying to change the input how easily the output is getting changed how sensitive of uh, our instrument for the uh, changes detected at the input stage uh, linearity uh, the next property uh, or next characteristic uh, it is defined as the variation in the constant of proportionality between the input physical quantity and the output electrical quantity input physical quantity so generally we are having the input physical quantity to be measured and output signal is mostly the electrical signal so uh, the constant of proportionality between them gives us the linearity between uh, it uh, the next is the resolution it is uh, the magnitude of the output stage uh, changes uh, produced by uh, continuously varying the major and or the measured quantity so uh, what when we are having the uh, input quantity is continuously changing then uh, the magnitude of the output how easily it is uh, changed is nothing but the uh, resolution the precision uh, is defined as the tolerance within which uh, the measurement can be uh, repeated means the allowed uh, error within which we can uh, uh, use that uh, a quantity in a um, precise manner okay so the tolerance is nothing but the allowed error bar so the tolerance within which the measurement can be repeated gives us the precision the next character is the range it is the minimum and the maximum value of the physical variable uh, that sensor or the transducer can sense or the measure so the minimum and the maximum um, uh, value of the uh, physical quantity or the variable uh, that uh, transducer can uh, measure uh, uh, for example the resistance temperature uh, transducer or rtd uh, for the measurement of the temperature uh, range of the minus 200 degrees celsius to uh, 800 degrees celsius so this is the range over which we can try to measure the uh, the temperature by using the uh, rtds or the resistance temperature detectors so minus 200 degrees celsius so the minima here is the minus 200 degrees celsius the maxima is the uh, plus 800 degree uh, celsius 
so this is the uh, range span it is the difference between the maximum and the minimum values of the input span maximum and the minimum values of the input can be so in this uh, example in case of the rtd what we can have maximum uh, input is the 800 degree and the minimum is minus 200 degrees so if we just try to take the difference between them then we can understand the span so 800 minus of minus 200 degrees so the overall span of the this rtd is a, a thousand degree uh, celsius hysteresis we know that hysteresis in case of the uh, magnetic magnetic material the um, magnetic field hysteresis loop so is the similar manner we use here is it is the difference of the output when the input is varied in the um, uh, both ways means in uh, increasing way as well as the decreasing way uh, we can uh, just vary the input so that the output can be uh, measured okay so output will be measured when the input is varied in the first we can increase the input and then uh, and this uh, will try to decrease from the maximum value to the minimum and uh, this is how the hysteresis is, is uh, generated threshold is the minimum value required so if the instrument uh, input is increased gradually from zero uh, there will be the some minimum value below which the output no output changes uh, can be detected so this minimum value defines the threshold of the instrument means even if we just try to uh, increase the input value from the zero but uh, uh, the instrument does not respond to that uh, changes uh, after the uh, zero uh, still it required uh, some positive value or the negative value to uh, give us or show the output changes so that mm, minimum value defines uh, uh, the threshold of the uh, instrument the next uh, static character is the drift drift is nothing but the uh, dragging of the instrument behind so it is the common uh, problem that uh, lead to the inaccurate measurement uh, reading and it is caused by or it can be caused by the several factors including the uh, environmental uh, contamination vibrations or, or temperature fluctuation etc etc so this is related to the drift the stability the stability and the reliability are the most important aspects uh, of the this uh, transducers the transducer has a, a high degree of the stability and reliability during its function and also the uh, storage period the responsiveness uh, it is generally expressed as uh, the time at which the output reaches a certain percentage of the final value in response to a uh, step changes of the input if we just change this uh, uh, input by a single step then the uh, output will be uh, uh, increased uh, uh, in some percentage of its maximum value or the final value that gives us the responsiveness of the uh, that uh, transducer and repeatability is defined as the ability of a, a sensor uh, or transducer to produce the same output every time when uh, the same input is applied in, and all the physical and the measurement conditions are kept uh, and the uh, which are the physical and the measurement conditions are kept constant or the same uh, that includes actually the operator uh, the instrument ambient temperature and so on and so forth so these are the mm, some conditions which has to be keep uh, same so that we can get the a similar kind of the result of the output will be measured in the repeatedly manner and gives us the same output every time now uh, let's talk about the dynamic characteristics of the uh, transfer it, it should be the second uh, type okay so second type of the character the dynamic character now dynamic character of the this transducer depends on the piece of function of the time so the dynamic character of the transducer related to its performance when the measured quantity is a function of that time so over the period of the time the measured quantity is going to change and that uh, uh, leads to the um, dynamic character of the uh, instrument so that uh, defines the performance of the system and uh, that gives or uh, that character uh, characterized under the dynamic behavior of the uh, transducer dynamic uh, error uh, it is the difference between the true value of the quantity changing with the time and the you know, value indicated by the measurement system if no static error is assumed so in this case uh, uh, um, 
uh, we call it as no static error is assumed here so there is a no existence of the static error present so it gives us the difference between the true value of the quantity changing uh, with the time and the value indicated by the uh, measurement system uh, is called as the measurement error uh, fidelity it is defined as the degree to which the measurement system indicates the changes in the uh, measure and quantity without dynamic error so it is degree to which a measurement system indicates the changes in the measure and quantity or the measured quantity uh, without dynamic uh, uh, error and the speed of the uh, response it is defined as the rigidity with which a measurement system responds to changes in the measured quantity okay so is a rigidity with which now uh, measurement uh, system response to changes in the measured uh, quantity the bandwidth it is the range over which the instrument responds so actually is range over which the instrument measures the output within the uh, uh, given limitations it is also uh, amount of the data that can be transmitted in a fixed amount of the time so is a function of the time again time delay lag in this case the response of the measurement system begins after a date time uh, after the application of the uh, input so here there are two uh, terminologies are coming the response of the measurement system begins after the date time uh, after the application of the input after the date time means this is the time over which the system does not respond to the changes happening in the uh, input so that is the date time and uh, the, after the application and here the after the application of the input as well the overall uh, both the characteristics of the transducer determine its performance and indicate how effectively it can accept the desired input signals and rejects the unwanted one so that that will decides or the if we consider the all above the uh, characteristics of the uh, transducer that is dynamic as well as the static characteristics uh, if we uh, consider all this uh, the is uh, characteristics on this basis we can uh, decide the uh, performance of the uh, system or the performance of the uh, transducer thank you